It was arguably the most anticipated game of the NFL season, and it ended shortly after it started. Hi again, everyone, and welcome into Cincinnati Bengals Talk. I'm James Rapine alongside Elise Jesse, where the Bengals and Bills game was postponed when DeMar Hamlin had a medical emergency in the first quarter. The Bengals were driving. T. Higgins caught a pass. Hamlin made the tackle, got up, and collapsed on the field, was on the field for 19 minutes. They were doing compressions and CPR, and he's been transported uh, to the University of Cincinnati Medical Center about two miles from here. And, Elise, we've both been covering sports, covering the NFL for a long, long time. I I've never seen anything like we saw tonight. I've never seen anything like this in my life, in football or outside of football, in any other sport. It's it's not common to see a 24-year-old in the best shape of his life, life, a professional athlete, go down the way Demar Hamlin did. I mean, he stood up and then he fell backwards. And you saw um, Joe Mixon was right around him and he saw Hamlin fall and then started pointing and yelling at the refs. Um, and you just saw the frantic, frantic medical team running out um, I, they were covered, obviously. They were covering our view. The bank, the Bills players, Bengals players were on the field, everybody on their knees. Um, players were just completely distraught watching what was happening on the field with Hamlin and um, the medical team trying to make sure that, that Hamlin was okay. Um, and you saw, obviously, the Bills players gather, huddle together, and it looked like they were possibly praying for his health, his safety, for him to be okay as he was put into the ambulance and taken to UC Medical Center. Um, it, it's just such a scary situation and um, I can't imagine what players were going through in their heads. And it looked like, and according to the ESPN broadcast, officials gave both teams five minutes to get ready to play. And then Zach Taylor and Sean McDermott, both head coaches, got together, talked about this, and obviously made the right decision. So I think they deserve a ton of credit. Now, again, that's what ESPN's reporting. I don't know. I really don't know what happened as far as that aspect of it. But it did feel like that there was an okay from the officials at one point, and then the coaches said, wait, no. Mm -hmm. And then that's when they temporarily suspended things. Players went back to the locker room. And we've seen a ton of players – Joe Mixon tweeted, Cam Taylor Britt tweeted, Tyler Boyd, Jamar Chase tweeting about Hamlin, wishing him well, praying for Hamlin. And so they were pretty shaken up by this. And just some of the video that ESPN's shown from Joe Burrow, obviously Josh Allen was really upset. Um, and there are a lot of other guys, Hayden Hurst, that were visibly bothered. And of course they should be. I'm just, but that's not something you're used to. These guys are used to seeing guys get injured. Right. But this wasn't a. This is not a common. This injury. wasn't an injury. Not a common injury yeah. that we would typically see. You know, I mean, if it, if he had been hit in the head and then stood up and fell back, then we would think, okay, concussion and go forward from there. But he tackled T and he was hit more towards his chest area and then fell back. So then immediately everyone gasped, of course, and was just wondering what the heck is going on with Hamlin, hoping that he's okay. Um, and you do give a lot of credit to Zach Taylor because the officials went to both sides and um, players started warming up. And we were all expecting a game to then be played after what we just witnessed for what, how long was that, 20, 30 minutes or so? Um, and then you saw Zach Taylor talk it over with McDermott, and then Zach Taylor went to the Bills um, locker room towards that way in the tunnel anyways. Um, and we were in the tunnel, and then the tunnel got locked down all of a sudden, and ev everyone was pushed away from the Bills locker room in that area. And you saw Zach Taylor leading Joe Burrow, Joe Mixon, um, Teddy Karras and DJ Reader, guys like that, the captains, back towards the Bengals locker room. And then shortly after that, we learned that the game was officially suspended by the NFL. And I, I, everything is secondary to Hamlin's health, but I just don't know where they go from here. I don't either. And Albert Breer reporting, by the way, that it was Burrow's idea for the captains to go over and, and talk to the, the Bills players and, and obviously wish them well and, and talk to them briefly. So certainly a good one, shows Burrow's leadership, but two, just shows this isn't about Bill's Bengals anymore for them. It's about players. And you're right. I don't know where the players go from here and decide to do what they do. I have no idea. I'm told we're not going to find anything out on Monday night. We waited a bit to do this video just in case. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Maybe someone breaks something. Maybe the NFL decides something. But there's a, a lot going on here because... 
yes, this is just a scary situation and you want the player to be okay. And, and certainly, hopefully, by the time you're watching this, hopefully he is okay and we get all the, the, the great news in the world. But also this late in the season from a football standpoint, it's, all right, well, do they make it a tie? We know it was on the line. All of our viewers know it was on the line for both teams. I, I don't know. I don't know where they go from here. And that's the part that, uh, you know, the NFL is, is likely to decide in the, the coming days, day. How quickly do you do it? Because both teams obviously have a game this coming Sunday. So there's, uh, there's a lot going on behind the scenes right now, I can assure you that. Well, and I I know that a big decision has to be made on whether or not, you know, this game is played, if it's called. Um, how does that affect the future of the NFL season? Um, but everything is secondary to DeMar Hamlin and the human life. Everything is secondary. So I don't even know how those conversations are taking place. I can't even imagine being in the position of trying to figure that out as you – are waiting to hear whether or not this player is okay or not. And hopefully praying that that is the case, that he does end up being okay. Hopefully by the time you see this, there's great news that breaks that, to be quite frank, we aren't going to break or have for you, but hopefully that that happens because, and the reason why is we're not going to know about Tamar Hamlin's status, and there's a lot of rumblings out there and and things going on, but... uh, we don't know for sure. So we know he's at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center, and, and that is as good of a hospital from a trauma standpoint as, as you can go to. I will say that. So hopefully uh, there's good news on that end. One thing I've seen that I want to mention, apparently DeMar Hamlin has a, uh, a charity uh, or some kind of toy drive yes. that he's been doing, right? Mm-hmm. And everyone found that, and they've been donating, and I think his goal was like... It was 2500 I 2500? think. 2500 Yeah. Okay. 2000 it, and isn't it at like seven hundred thousand dollars or something crazy? I, I saw Last like checked. I believe it, it had to have gone up by now. Yeah. So if you're thinking of like, all right, well, what can you do? That seems like a great cause, and uh, it's all over social media. So uh, check that out and, and support him, and, and hopefully, uh, well, his his charity can just boom take off and, and he can get out of the hospital and, and get well soon. So uh, that's going to do it for us uh, tonight. Certainly a uh, a wild night, and, and like I said, hopefully DeMar Hamlin is okay. Hopefully his family is, uh, and, and I was told his family did get into the ambulance with him, so hopefully that is the case and uh, that they're able to, to comfort him now. So hopefully he makes a full recovery in the near future. We will have more about this game, if there is going to be a game, when, when it breaks. So for Elise Jesse, I'm James Erpine signing off here on a Monday night at Paycor Stadium.